So, lead developer of Minecraft, Jens Bergenston, aka Jeb, just posted a secret Minecraft version to Reddit that makes major changes to Minecraft's combat system. And on top of that, another strange link showed up on Minecraft's feedback website all about Minecraft combat. But websites, links, la la la. We're gonna jump into game ourselves and check out these changes. And there have been sweeping changes, including updates to attack speeds, shields, and yes, even sweeping. Plus, there's a brand new attribute that got added to Minecraft. It's known as Weapon Reach. What's it all about the- Huh? Oh. Oh. Okay, um, I think Lock.Zip's got some plans for me. Alright, so we're here in game for the experimental combat test. If you look at my F3 screen in the top left there, you can see that we do have the combat test snapshot loaded up. And we've got a little area here where we're going to go over all the different changes to the combat system in the snapshot. Whether it's shield changes, attack speed changes, sweeping, and a brand new reach attribute. The way this is going to work is I'm going to show you what the combat looks like in-game now as of this latest beta. And then we're going to show you what it currently looks like looks like in the normal version of Minecraft, aka the old version. So first up, attack speed changes in the new version. Attacks in general are much faster than they used to be. We've got a diamond sword here, we've got a whole bunch of husks. Now I can land way more attacks. You can actually allow the same mob to get hit a lot faster in this version of the game. There used to be a specific delay between when you could attack a mob and when you could do damage to it before and it's no longer there. Now, even if I were to continue to spam click as fast as possible, the attacks will still only happen at a certain minimum speed in the new combat change. And as you can see, they still deal quite a lot of damage. However, now when you stop attacking for brief amounts of time, your attack timer continues to charge. At 200%, you can perform special attacks such as criticals, sweeping, and knockback attacks. Now, see here, when you jump an attack, Ein. Whoa! How did he just get out? Okay, either way, look at what happens when I haven't attacked in a while and I do a jumping attack. See those particles? Critical. But now that I'm not waiting quite as often, we're unable to get the criticals every single time. It's because you need to let your timer charge and then you can nail more particles. But if you don't wait for long enough, they will not continue to appear. So you'll have to time out when you want to use things such as sweep, criticals, and knockback. Finally, you can also hold left click to attack constantly. I am just holding my mouse button right now. There, now you can't hear the zombies as much. I'm just holding, I'm just holding my mouse button right now. You can now do this and it will still deal a decent amount of minimum damage. I'm just holding my mouse button down and we are making quick work of all of these husks. It's ridiculous. All right, now let's look at attack speeds in the current version of Minecraft, Minecraft 1.14.2. As you can see here, the cooldown works a little bit differently. We're instantly getting that sweeping animation from later on in the video. Uh, it's been actually changed and removed how it works in the latest combat change. But as you can see here, there's a lot more happening. If you attack too fast with your cooldown, suddenly you're way weaker with all of your attacks. It's very interesting. You see, you can't, you can't just spam like we were before. It doesn't work nearly as well. While there's still an attack timer and cooldown, you can in fact perform some of these without waiting for the cooldown, you'll just do less damage. Which means, yes, constant criticals are entirely possible. Finally, there is no left click holding to attack constantly in this version of the game. You have to click every time. So sad. Next up are changes to shields. In the new version, shields work a little bit differently. There's no longer a warm up delay. There used to be a split second where the shield doesn't do any protection before using it. So, this part, when you hold the shield up and then you right click, before it didn't work right away. You'd have to wait for the shield to fully get up in front of your face. Now when you right click, you instantly have protection, which means for all you combat junkies out there, you should much more easily be able to defend against attacks with perfectly timed right clicks. So let's let these boys loose on me. We've got the shield up, and as you can see, it's fantastic for protection. And if we put it up right, BAM! I, well, I was a little too slow on that one. Let's try it. Uh, yep, instantaneous. Where before, if you hadn't got the shield up right then, you wouldn't have been protected. Now, if you decide to put your shield in your offhand slot instead of holding it in your main hand, you get another fun little feature. You can sneak to use the shield. The moment you sneak, you will instantly activate your shield in front of you. And so as you can see, we're just sneaking right now and we're still getting full-blown shield protection. 
Yes, you can try. Try as you may. You're not good enough. You can't get me. Look, he's celebrating. He's like jumping on the chest. Dude, you haven't done any damage. I ain't. Okay, well. Okay, but here's the weirdest one of all. This may be a glitch, but when sneaking with a shield, you can block and attack at the same time. You can't do that normally. You see, I, now I've got my shield up. I'm unable to attack and swing my sword. But if we sneak to activate the shield, then you can keep right clicking. So let's have some fun, huh? Let's just, we're just gonna get, yeah. Normally I'd be really worried about trying to fight this many husks at once, but I think if we take advantage of this weird, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh. Look, they can't, they can't do any damage to me right now. This is completely, this is broken. That, that was, that was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I see that one changing real soon. So now we look at shields in the current version of the game, the old version, you could say. Now, you see, shields, they they work. Uh, you still hold them up a little bit differently. But let's try and show off that delay I was talking about before, where even though I put my shield up a little bit before they got to me, it still didn't activate the way it honestly should have. So you'll want to keep that in mind. In addition, hold on, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, man. In addition, when you sneak in the old version, in, in your offhand slot, you do not hold your shield up right away, which means that there is absolutely no way for you to shield and attack at the same time in the current version of the game. Next new change is for sweeping. Yes, you know that ability you swords used to have to push a lot of mobs away all at once. Well, they removed it, kind of. You now need it as an actual enchantment. You need the sweeping enchantment. Now, the original sweeping enchantment used to just allow your damage to spread across all the mobs a little more uh, appropriately now you need her to do sweeping at all so sweeping edge is now going to allow you that sweeping enchantment such as you see right here knocking them all away so you'll want to keep that in mind but the beauty of it appears to be no oh, no no you still have to wait around a little bit look at that okay they changed it so you still need to wait for that 200 percent in order to activate those special attacks such as the critical such as the knockback we saw before if you go too fast it won't do the damage to the nearby mobs see if i just read <laughs> i did none so it's kind of a sweeping edge nerf in that you can't do it anymore, but now we see sweeping changes in the current version of the game, aka there aren't any sweeping changes, because as you saw a little bit ago, you now have the sweeping effect on any diamond sword, or any sword for that matter, without needing the sweeping enchantment. In fact, the only thing the sweeping edge enchantment does in this version of Minecraft's combat system is it spreads more damage to more of the creatures that you're attacking at once. So if you see here, we're gonna go ahead and do a lot more damage to a lot of these creatures all at once and that's just gone in the new version we now reach the final change or in this case addition for now the reach attribute a brand new feature for minecraft weapons they now have a new attack attribute known as attack reach look at that 3.5 attack reach and if we look over at our trident it's got an attack reach of four Hmm, look at this before. The higher the reach, the farther you can hit your opponent. That makes perfect sense. Here's a low attack reach. This is an attack reach of one. This is less than even the normal diamond sword. So as you can see here, we're we're we can't reach we can't reach this husk from right here. Unless he's really pushing forward. He's got a very low attack reach. But he's still gonna die. Okay, so now here's the difference between a diamond sword and a trident. If we've got our sword here, we can reach this guy right here, but if we were to step back any further, oh, oops. Okay, see, so look, we can't hit him with the diamond sword right here, but if we allow our trident the opportunity, bam, we can nail him from a little bit further, 0.5 reach further. But let's show you something a little more exaggerated, a high attack reach, because you can modify this using command and MBT data. This sword has an attack reach of eight. Look at this. Look how far away we are. We're attacking from so many blocks away. The amount of weapon changing we can do now that there's attack speed, attack damage, and attack reach is really exciting for combat in Minecraft. And finally, the old slash current version of reach attribute. <laughs> well, it doesn't exist. It's not even showing up on the toolbars here. There was no way to modify reach in the current version of the game. So this one's totally fresh. 
Yeah, back to you, Tyler. <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. Two more things before we wrap up today's video. One, a Minecraft feedback link. You'll be able to click in the description of today's video that will take you to Minecraft's feedback website. And as you can see here, it is the Java Combat Snapshot that we just covered today. You'll be able to leave comments and suggestions as well as other forms of feedback underneath this post so that you can directly speak with the Minecraft team and developers about your thoughts, both good and bad, about this snapshot. Now, more importantly though, where you get the snapshot is on this Minecraft subreddit post by Jeb himself. He links the download so you can download it for yourself and more importantly, he goes into a lot more detail about the current problems with combat and the proposed changes. So we're gonna go and read that right now. Skimming through it, he says, the main issues for Java Edition are that it's too slow for PvP and not exciting, damage per second is too low to beat regeneration items, and it's too hard to understand for new players. Now, the Bedrock version, however, has its own issues. Tedious on controller, weapons very similar, and armor is just not balanced. Now, this manually installed Java Snapshot is a combination of the current Java version of combat as well as some major changes added which you already saw but again overall much faster attacks attacks only have when fully charged even if you spam click you can hold to attack weapons have different reach after you stop attacking the timer will double and when it doubles you can perform special attacks sweeping now requires the sweeping enchantment Critical attacks will bypass shields. We didn't get to show that one off, but rest assured you can subscribe to this channel and see a future Minecraft combat video where we dive into this and do some PvP action. More importantly though, shields have no warm-up delay. They'll also activate when crouching and sneaking. And if you hit something, the invulnerability timer will be shorter if you have a quick weapon. So there are a lot of changes, but I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like I said, subscribe for more combat updates. And we'll see you later.